Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading this week to just take a little peek at the week ahead and see how we can find success and happiness in the course of the week. We're not going to generate this ourselves. We're just going to find out where it already lives. So our first card is Eight of Water, Synthesis. The second card is Six of Air, Meditation. The third card is Six of Bridges, Explore. The fourth card is Major Two, Spiritual Guide. And the fifth card is Five of Water, Disguise. Now this week, I want you to look at these cards as a smorgasbord. This is a a banquet, a potluck. You get to dip into whatever of these things you want to this week. They're all there. They're in your environment. They're available to you. You just choose what you're going to have the most fun playing with. So option number one is synthesis which means that you bring something into your being and really incorporate it as part of you. You digest it fully, you integrate it fully, you allow it to become as natural to you as your breath is. If there's something sitting around you in your life that still feels a little foreign or like you have to work to get into a mood or shift your energy or something like that, This is a great time to just choose to let it really become part of you. So synthesis is one option this week. Meditation is also an option to create happiness this week. And meditation doesn't have to be anything formal. It's just sit down with yourself all alone, close your eyes, take a deep breath, and let your mind go where it needs to. Or give your mind a focus and keep returning to that focus. Either one of those can be a really good option for you, and you choose which if you're interested in meditation this week. Our third happiness option this week is explore. Find something new that you've never even thought of and wondered, wandered into before, or go to something that you really enjoy already and explore it more deeply. Find out what it's about understand all the layers of it that you can get a hold of at this point in time. This can be physical exploration, mental, it can be emotional. If exploration draws you this week, turn it into an adventure and just seek as deep into it as you possibly can or as wide into it as you possibly can. Our fourth happiness option this week is spiritual guide. Now, this is a really cool one because it means that either you can tap into your spiritual guides this week and there will be a lot of happiness there for you with that, or you can be a spiritual guide this week. When we're here on the physical plane, we're completely capable of being spiritual guides for other folks who are here, and we can also be spiritual guides for folks who who are over on the spirit side. Explore this a little bit this week if it intrigues you. Play and see where you can go with it. And our fifth happiness option this week is to wear a disguise. This can be a full body, full being disguise, just become somebody else for the week. It can be multiple disguises. One day you're one thing, one day you're another. It can be that you're feeling one way and you decide to show up another way just once. That's just fine. Whatever you do with disguise this week, if this one draws you, play with it. Have fun with it. Even if you're expressing really intense moods or really intense experiences, you be the fun at the center of it because it is fun to wear a disguise. So in summary this week, your smorgasbord of happiness options are synthesize something into your being, Meditate a bit. Explore something that interests you. 
connect with your spiritual guides or let yourself be a spiritual guide or wear the disguise or disguises of your choice. The whole undercurrent of the week is played with whichever one of these things or many of these things are most appealing to you. Have a lot of fun this week. <laughs>